Hello, in this video I will show you how you can create a WhatsApp bot that, for example, schedules calls for you, evaluates leads, answers questions about your business to people automatically using make.com and soon Zapier. And without having to set up like the complex WhatsApp API, you'll be able to use it in a very simple way. The way it works is you're going to be using the notifier by Whatsable tool. And I'm showing you here, for example, I created a bot that explains how Whatsable works, this tool itself. So you see, for example, I asked the bot, how does Whatsable work? And then it replies with how it works. Okay. Some other examples, let me show you that I have here. I can explain like, what's the difference between this product and this product? And then it explains this. And then if people want to get in touch with you, they just press here and then they can open a Whatsapp conversation. Uh, with you on WhatsApp. All right, let me show you how to do this. We're going to be using make and open AI. I'm going to go step by step on each thing. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create an account on platform.openai.com, which is where you will create your bot. Okay. So I'm going to sign up. I've already done this, but I'm going to do this again. Just so you know. so you create an account here. Okay. Then add your business information. All right. And once you're in here, you're going to go and go to the playground. Okay. And here's where you can create assistance. So you're going to go to assistance and create. All right. So here's where you basically train your bot about your business. So I'm going to make this bot to evaluate leads. So I'm going to call this evaluate lead. And then here is where we explain to the bot what type of bot you are. So like you are sales rep that needs to evaluate and make it a real estate sales it's real estate sales rep for their home if the budget is less than 300k usd then do not let them schedule a call with us if their budget is more than 300k then send them this link to schedule mm, I'm put in Calendly. okay and then we can make it more uh, more even better we can say if the budget is less than 300k usd for a two bedroom then do not let them schedule a call okay then for the model, this will depend, this will change over time by the time this video is, but usually GPT or for mini works for these type of simple tasks. Okay. You could, if you want add files. So if you have a document that explains more about your business, you could include it here and then it will read it. Now let's, let's kind of test this. Hi, I want to schedule a call with the broker. Okay. So you're going to get this error. And then you need to go to billing settings and add a credit card. That's how it works. Okay. So you'll have to add your payment details and then I'll come back to this now after adding it. All right. So I've added my billing details and now I'm going to test it. I want to schedule a meeting with a broker. So the bot is going to say, can you let me know your budget for your hunger interested in? And we're going to say, 200k so it's not going to give us the meeting okay now we can see okay then it's 300 all right so now we're going to go and use make.com and then we're going to use a few modules first thing is the notifier bot to start so we're going to go to notifier and then notifier bot here. This is the bot that will basically listen to incoming webhooks. So I am going to add the information here. And I'm gonna put sales. Now you're gonna to need to create an account with notifier. I'm gonna put the link to that later here. And basically notifier, the way it works is you're able to send WhatsApp messages through the notifier bot. So you don't need to create your own bot. Basically your customers receive messages like this new update from, and then your business name. Let me show you actually how it looks. 
So the message is sent from the notifier bot, then it says message from the business name and then whatever you want to say. If they want to talk to you, they press to reply and then that goes to your WhatsApp business or any personal WhatsApp or they can unsubscribe. And then you also get analytics for all the messages. So you can see how many messages are read, how many people press on the reply button to talk to you, how many people reply to the bot directly. And then you can download the list of specific users so you can do a retargeting campaign of everyone who read your message, for example. And then you can also search for a specific phone number. So like, okay, did this person read the message or not? Very simple setup, integrates with Zapier and Make, and it's the fastest way to send WhatsApp messages automatically. So after, um, so we're gonna go and Make now. I'm gonna get, I already have an account, so I'm gonna put my API key. You can get your API key by going to the API key here. So in the dashboard, you will first fill out your business information, like the name that will appear in your business, the number that if they press on the reply button, they will talk to. So this could be your personal WhatsApp number. And now, and then if you go to API keys, you'll get your API key. Okay, so I've added now my business information, estate expert, all that stuff, just as a demo, okay? So I'm gonna copy this API key. I'm gonna paste this here, and then I'm gonna put here demo real estate safe and that's it all right now what we're gonna do is we have this bot okay that we've created and we're gonna go into make and put the module open ai all right so the first thing we're gonna use is use the module message and assistant okay this is basically we are gonna tell the assistant that there's a message coming in okay so this is basically listening for messages that your users, your customers, your leads send to the bot, okay? And then we're gonna listen to them here. First, we're gonna add a, a new connection here. So I'm gonna do real estate demo connection. To get your API key, you just go here to open API. New secret key, I'm gonna call this make.com key. This is for my demo real estate. And then I'm gonna create the secret key. All right, I'm gonna copy and then i'm going to paste this here right and then the organization id we're going to go here and then just say organization id we're going to copy this one here and paste it okay now for the assistant we're going to say the lead qualified bot which is the bot we just created the role is user so this is actually the, the bot will the assistant will be the the role is you are the assistant you're not the user and then the message is here you get a few information from WhatsApp, from the notifier by WhatsApp bot. So you get the last message sent by the user, the phone number of the user, the business information, the last message sent by the user. So only the specific last message, the last message uh, sent by the bot. So whatever you answered last and the conversation paragraph, which is basically the full conversation put together and so that the AI has context of it. Okay. So the first thing here is I'm going to give context to the AI. So here is the full conversation we have had with the user so far. And then we put the variable conversation paragraph. So the AI will get a paragraph with like basically the last, everything that has been talked between the, the customer or the lead and the bot previously, okay? And then we say important, only answer questions related to booking an appointment for a real estate. Do not talk about anything else, okay? So this is kind of, we're setting it up. We press okay, sorry. This has to be the role of the user first. We're gonna make the assistant afterwards. Okay, so we're gonna press okay. All right, so now what the important thing of this is we get like what's called a thread ID. So we need to now basically do the same thing. So we've given the AI context. Now we're gonna do message and assistant. And now what we're gonna do is tell them, okay, now this is the last, okay, you've a new context. And now we say this is the last message sent by the user. And then here we use the last message by the user, okay? And then what's important is the thread ID, you're gonna use the previous one. So 
it's basically a way that OpenAI tools knows, okay, we're, this is part of the same conversation. The thread ID is super important, okay? And then the other thing we're gonna do now, and this is the last step, is you go to Notifier, send a WhatsApp message, and then you choose the phone number of the person who talked to us here. And then the message is, um, from the third step, what's called the result. All right. Now let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to save this first. All right. Before we can test this, we need to actually first send a message to the user. So I'm just going to create a very simple thing. I'm just going to create a form that when it is and someone types the phone number on the form, we send a message first. So we first need to send a message to the user before they can reply. So I'm just going to do this very quickly. I'm going to use tally, I'm going to use this one here. Okay. So when this happens, send a notifier by WhatsApp message, send a message. We're going to put my API key that I got here. I think we have this one working for me. Okay, so we're gonna send to something like, so for example, I would send when they fill out uh, a form, I would send, hey, thanks for your interest in real estate, in our real estate services, what is your budget for your studio apartment? Okay, and now we can do this. I'm just gonna run this very quickly. All right, so now it's time to put this into practice. I've just made a very simple form where I'm just gonna put my phone number and it will then trigger this automation that sends like an initial message. Imagine this coming from a Facebook lead ad, so you could put anything in the message using any variable. Okay, I don't need this now for myself, this is just a demo. So I'm gonna put my phone number in this form and I submit this. Now, this will trigger this scenario where from this form it goes to Notifier and sends me a message, um, kind of like a welcome message asking me what is my budget for the property I'm searching for. Okay, so we're gonna wait a second here. And we have received the message, okay? It says message from a state expert. So here it would say the name of your company. And again, this can be translated to your language. It says, hey, thanks for your interest in real estate services. What is some, your budget in your studio apartment in Costa del Sol, okay? So I can say my budget is uh, 350K. Okay, If so now this is triggering this scenario. As you can see here, it's working now. We've sent this now to make, notifiers in the message, OpenAI now is processing the message. Um, and now it will send the message as soon as OpenAI finishes thinking. And here is it. Thank you for confirming budget of 350K. You can schedule a confirmation with us using this link. Uh, and then looking forward to speaking with you. Now the great, so this is, this is how you can say, and then you can, I can ask a question. What if, I don't have a bank statement in the meeting. Let's see what it says. I didn't train the bot on this, but you could say anything that you train the bot, it will be able to handle. And again, this triggers this scenario one more time. Now this is processing this new question. Okay, sorry, I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. So. I was showing you that you can set the budget and then based on the budget, it tells you, okay, you can schedule or not, because this is what the, the bot was trained to do. But we can ask anything to the bot, like, um, I, so I just asked, are you a bot or human? But we can ask, uh, what is your um, availability on Monday? It will not know this because it doesn't have access to my calendar, but I just want to show you that you can have a conversation with the bot now in this case, it's again triggering every time the message comes, it's basically triggering here the make scenario. I'm probably seeing it um, in history here. We're gonna see it's running here. And it has already answered. I'm here to assist with scheduling appointment for real estate with Mr. Burgess existing. Uh, so it doesn't really know how to answer this because the bot is very trained on just asking for a budget and, and like filtering the leads. But you could theoretically train it on other things. I, for example, trained it before on on Notifier, and I asked him, what's the difference between Notifier and WhatsApp? And then I asked him to give it in Spanish. And then it just pops it because it has more knowledge. And the cool thing is if, some, if a lead, for example, is talking to you and they wanna go and talk to you directly, 
then they can just press here and it will open a conversation with you if they want to talk with you directly or they can press on the reply button and then also open a conversation with you on WhatsApp. And then everything related to your analytics, you can then see in here. So you can see how many messages were delivered, read, how many people pressed on the reply button, which is this button here, how many people unsubscribed. So you get a lot of insights into what is going on in your messaging um, so that you know everything that's going on. All right, hope this helped. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. Thank you, have a great day.